Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. This is part one of a series of videos about differences in vocabulary between British English and American English. You will learn 18 differences. And the link to part two is in the description and also at the end of this video. So let's start. So we are talking about the season and British English we call this autumn. American English fall or the fall. British English example leaves fall from the trees in autumn. American English example leaves fall from the trees in the fall in the fall okay and in a restaurant or in a coffee shop when it's time to pay um, in british english we call this the bill american english this is the check we can say can i have the bill please and American English, can I have the check, please? And so this in the middle here, British English is rubbish. American English, this is trash or garbage. And this object here in British English we call this the rubbish bin and American English this is the trash can or the garbage can example we can say the rubbish bin is full the trash can is full British English we say biscuit and American English, they say cookie. So we can say, would you like a biscuit? And in American English, they say, would you like a cookie? So this object here, this part of the car, in British English is called a bonnet, a bonnet. And in American English, this is the hood the hood of the car. So we can say Mark has opened the bonnet and in American English Mark has opened the hood. Now at the back of the car inside so this is the space where we store things British English this is called the boot and American English, this is called the trunk. So we can say the boot is empty. And in American English, the trunk is empty. So this object here, this vehicle, is called a caravan in British English. And in American English, this is a trailer. Example, the family lives in a caravan. Or in America, the family lives in a trailer. Very common example. In British English, this is called a car park. And in American English, this is a parking lot. Example, the car park is full because there are no parking spaces left. And here in American English, the parking lot is full. So this is the name of um, the shop or the place where we get our um, medicine and pills and tablets and our prescriptions from the doctor. We get our medication here 
and this is the word in British English. So we call this place, this shop, we call it a chemist. And you will sometimes hear it being called chemists with an apostrophe, chemists. And that is short for, I think it's chemist's shop, chemist's shop, the shop of the chemist. But you only say chemists. Okay, so you will see both of these or hear both of these. And in American English, they call it a pharmacy or a drugstore, drugstore. So example, I collected my prescription at the chemist or I collected my prescription at the chemist's. And in America, you would say, I collected my prescription at the pharmacy or at the drugstore. Before we can con continue, um, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. OK, so this is a, a type of snack food and British English, we call them crisps. It's quite difficult to say crisps and in American English they call them chips chips or sometimes they call them potato chips example would you like a packet of crisps or in American English would you like a packet of chips okay so in American English chip these are called chips but in British English we also have another word for this this we have this word but it means something different and these are chips in British English okay so you can see them it's a, it's a hot food that are made from potatoes uh, yes so we call these chips and in American English, they call them French fries or simply fries. In British English, I had some chips with my steak. And in American English, I had some French fries with my steak. Or simply, I had some fries with my steak. So the object here is this part of the road. And in British English, this we call this a crossroads, a crossroads, because the roads cross. In American English, this is called an intersection, an intersection. Example, I turned right at the crossroads. Or in American English, I turned right at the intersection. In British English, we call these drawing pins. So each one is called a drawing pin. And in British, uh, sorry, and in American English, this is called a thumbtack. A thumbtack. So a very, very different word. Example, I put the poster on the wall with drawing pins. And in American English, I put the poster on the wall with thumbtacks. In British English, the general word, we're not talking about brand names, but the general word for this drink, in British English, we call this fizzy drink. So we say these are bottles of fizzy drink. These are fizzy drinks. So this is countable. Okay, it's a countable noun. We say here are some fizzy drinks. In American English, they call the general word for this is soda. Soda. Okay, and in American English, it is uncountable. So an example in, English, in British English, fizzy drinks are bad for your health. 
fizzy drinks with an S because it is countable are bad for your health. Plural, plural. But since this is uncountable, we say soda is bad for your health. Okay, so soda or fizzy drink. Uh, we call this type of accommodation, in British English, we call this type of a home, we call it a flat. And in American English, they call it an apartment. Mark rents a flat in London. And in American English, Claire rents an apartment in New York. And this object here, this object that is in the baby's mouth. In British English, this is called a dummy. A dummy. And in American English, this is called a pacifier. A pacifier. He has a dummy in his mouth. He has a pacifier in his mouth. A very common one, particularly for me, because I this is my favourite sport. In British English, the name of this sport is football. But in American English, they call it soccer. Now, why do, not, why do Americans not call it football? Well, the reason is that in America, they have another sport which is called football. In America, football is what we call American football and it's a game where they um, where they actually have the ball in their hands where they throw the ball so an example I watch football every Saturday or if you if you're in America you would say I watch soccer every Saturday and this object here in America uh, sorry in British English is called a handbag a handbag and in american english this is called a purse a purse she's carrying a black handbag and in american english she's carrying a black purse okay so that's the end of part one click here to watch part two